and Rezidori gets the win. Whoa, what a bout. In this year's NCAA Wrestling Championships, Jake Rezidori upset seventh-ranked Kyle Crutchmer in the first round, 6-5. to five. Although the loss ended a dream of bringing home a national title, Crutchmer relied on a special relationship to help finish strong. His biological mother left him and his dad, Kevin, when Kyle was only a few days old. Shortly after, Kevin met Tina, who had a son of her own, not knowing that he would be the key to Kyle's motivation. It all began at the age of four, when he and his stepbrother Brian were playing in front of their home. We were playing in the yard, and he kind of just fell. And after that, he, he couldn't get up, and you could just see a sense of panic. Brian collapsed and told Kyle that he couldn't walk, so Kyle carried Brian into the house to seek help. Brian would later be diagnosed with a late birth defect that caused veins to wrap around his spinal cord, paralyzing him. Doctors said the chance of survival was slim, and even if he pulled through, he would be confined to a wheelchair the rest of his life. One day after spending a year in the hospital, Brian was complaining of being confined while the family was shopping. So Kevin got rid of the wheelchair and bought a pool to work out with him in. Within six weeks, he was able to walk again. When things hit you, you just bounce back and you don't believe what people say or what people think. And you know, the doctors told me I would never walk again and I ended up walking again. At Union High School in Tulsa, they both continued to wrestle. During Kyle's senior year, he finished the season undefeated, securing his second straight state championship. However, the thing that was on his mind wasn't what he did, but what his partner in crime accomplished. He didn't talk anything about his title. All he was um, spoke of is how important, how proud he was of his brother Brian for winning his first one. He's like more than a real brother would be to someone to me. So it's like we had a different, we have a different bond. We still do to this day, and it'll it'll be there forever. Kyle committed to the Cowboy family because Coach John Smith wanted both Crutchmers. With his brother by his side, Kyle took aim at an exclusive national title. After winning 75% of his bouts through his first two seasons, Kyle would break his right foot in last year's Bedlam, while ranked fifth in the nation. In his first match back from the injury, it only took 88 seconds to pin Bucknell's Chad Reese. He would go on to finish with a regular season record of 17-6, securing his second Big 12 title. It's easy to see why the mat is Kyle's safe haven. At Union, he won nearly 87% of his matches, and in college, well, hardly anything changed. He finished his career with 79 wins, including two All-American honors. Following the residory loss, Kyle would win his next four bouts, putting him in the seventh place match against who else but SIU Edwardsville's 174 pound senior. In the rematch, Kyle left nothing to chance, defeating residory 9-4 in his last bout ever as an Oklahoma State Cowboy. I have a lot of pride in me. Uh, I have a little brother who's watching me, and uh, I just wanted to show him you know, sometimes things don't go your way, that doesn't mean you give up. Kyle will graduate in May with a major in education and would like to continue to compete, whether it's MMA, wrestling, or coaching. For O-State TV, I'm Tyler Segerman.